Get a great deal on internet, video, voice, and business services from the technology experts. Next Tech. Midwest Energy, a customer-owned cooperative providing safe, reliable, and efficient energy services and promoting growth throughout the region. Gibbs Auto Supply, over 200,000 parts and accessories and great staff to take care of you in Hayes and La Crosse. Steel Fabrications, when you need something fixed and you need it done fast and need it done right, call Steel Fab. Heartland Building, when it's time to get the job done, see why so many builders rely on Heartland Building Center with a huge stock of building materials. Hayes K. Lund, Kirk Maska and Kurt Viner. State Glass Company, locally owned and operated since 1948. 5th and Main, downtown Hayes. Thomas Moore Prep Marion, building communities of faith, knowledge, and service. Jeter Law Firm, proud to support student athletes, partners you can rely on. Jeter Law Firm. We'll come back to the national anthem, Rachel. Southeast of Saline High School. As we welcome you in to uh, Southeast of Saline. I'm Josh Petrucket along with our studio producer, engineer Rachel Fox at the uh, KHEZ studios and also our Hayes Post producer and engineer, Brian Dennett, with us as well. As we uh, welcome you into this Saturday afternoon matchup, they're going to run through the uh, starting lineups on the floor. We can hit you those here in just a moment. Of course, earlier we heard from Coach Rose McFarlane. Her thoughts brought to you by Shelter Insurance Agent Dustin Shoemaker. You can save when you insure both your home and auto with Shelter. See uh, Shelter Agent Dustin Shoemaker for the details. Lady Monarchs in those road dark blue uniforms. The white numbers trimmed in gray with the Monarchs across the front. Meanwhile, southeast of Celine in their home white uniforms. The dark blue or that purple numbers trimmed in black. That's our uniform update brought to you by Faith. Phase two for business polos to team gear. First choice should be phase two screen printing and embroidery. No minimum mortar plus quick turnaround time. Phase two screen printing and embroidery. Just that fine on 22nd Street next to Big D's Rental in Hayes. Our game day apparel provider, including our masks as we sit up top here amid the crowd or just a little bit above the crowd here at Southeast of Saline High School. They're going to run through the starting lineups for the Trojans. Real quickly, we already got to the starters for the TAP Lady Monarchs, but we'll go ahead and uh, run through those for you once again. For Coach Rose McFarland, she'll go with Emily Lane, the six-foot junior, Sophia Baltazor, the 5'7 junior, along with Megan Hamel. Hamel's the 5'4 junior, Cassidy Yost, the 5'9 junior, and then also so for the Lady Monarchs, Kylie Allen, the lone senior of the 5'8 senior. For the uh, Southeast Saline Trojans and their head coach, Sm Shauna Smith, they will go with Carson Schlazer, 5'7 junior. Um, Alana Yanakopoulos, she's the 5'7 junior, along with Maddie Harris, a 5'5 freshman. Maddie P. 
Pearson is the 5'6 junior, and then Avery Castleman, the 5'7 sophomore. Talked a little bit about Carson Schlesner in the opener. Schlesner is their leading score, rebounder, and then um, also assists and steals. Uh, she leads in all of those categories. Schlesner averages nearly 15 points per contest, five rebounds to go along with her, just shy of three assists and two steals per contest. So it's Schlesner, got a Copolis along with Harris, Pearson, and Castleman. TMP will go with Lane, Baltazor, along with Hamel, Yost, and then Kylie Allen, the 5-4 TMP. As we welcome you aboard this Saturday afternoon matchup, two teams step out of the mid cut or uh, step out of league play for this matchup. As TMP will shoot down to our right. Again, we sit just up the top of the gym here at southeast of Saline. So the Monarchs will shoot down to our right as we set up behind the scores table. TMP will get it inside to Cassidy Ostras, a double team. They'll kick it out for Hamel straight on in between the circles. Says not to shoot it. Baltazar has it left side. Sophia had a nice game yesterday, 13 points. That was the second on TMP. Her and Emily Lane both with 13. Emily will have it at the elbow on the left side. She's going to drive in, kick it right side for Baltazar. Now Lane will repost, so he's at left side for Hamel. She'll dump it for Cassidy Yost. Yost goes to the hook shot on that left low block. Missed it. Fight for it inside. It's ripped away by Yana Copolis. And back the other way come the Lady Trojans. TMP gets a look inside, but can't finish. Up the floor. Pass right side for Castleman. Good close out as Southeast Sicilian can't shoot it. Schlesner will drive into the lane. Kick it outside for Avery Castleman. Castleman, now to Yannacopoulos. She'll drive to the lane, put up a little floater, and it's good. So Lena Yannacopoulos gives the uh, Trojans a 2-0 lead as they're able to get that little floater to go. Seven minutes to go for his quarter. Yannacopoulos will get into the lane and get that floater to go. TMP with Kylie Allen back the other way, right side, as they'll swing it from the right way to the left side. Hamel with that... Right hand taped, gives it up. Here's Baltazor for three, and she bangs it home. Sophia with a good start for TMP. She knocks down the straight on three for TMP. And the Lady Monarchs jump out to a 3-0 lead. Again, she had 13. As here's a pass inside for Schlesner, and she gets free and scores. Quickly, just like that, it's 4-3 to three on the bucket for Schlesner. And Southeast to Celine had a couple of early field goals lead, so 4-3. to three. 6.20 to play first quarter. Yost has it. She'll swing it right side for TMP. Allen looking for Lane, coming down the lane. She got double team, kicks it for Baltazor. Left baseline this time, halfway down, and it spun out to the rebound. Cleared out of there by Avery Castleman. Pretty good look for the uh, Lady Monarch, Sophia Baltazor, but it rimmed out. Now they'll find a, a cutting Harris who misses it short. Rebound is going to be a tie-up as Lane... And then also Maddie Harris hit the deck, and the hero will give it to South East Saline. The Trojans got a look inside. The alternate possession on the missed shot keeps it with the Trojans. They'll lob it over the top for Pearson. Pearson, Natalie Yanakopoulos for Carson Schlesner, their leading scorer. Under six minutes to go here in this first quarter, and a 4 3 lead for the Trojans. Right side, Yanakopoulos drives in, has it blocked by Lane. It'll be tracked down on the outside by Maddie Harris. Harris has it. She'll kick it right side for Avery Castleman. Castleman now to Carson Schlesner. Straight on. She'll take the three and swish it home. Schlesner makes it 7-3 to three as she parries a straight on three. Schlesner, their leading scorer with five here in the opening quarter. And with five and a half to go in this quarter, it's a four-point lead. It's 7-3 to three in favor of the Trojans. TMP, Allen, and Lane work the uh, pick and roll. And Lane will go down the left side and score it. 7-5. On the layup for Emily Lane. They worked that pick and roll on the left wing, and Emily got free and was able to put it on the deck one time and score it. Schlesner will go over the top for Pearson. Pearson kicks it back for Schlesner. Right side, here's another three. This one's short. Rebound fought for. Lane will take it away. Got knocked to the deck and is able to save it to Hamel. As TMP will push with Megan, and now she got cut off by Yana Copolis, and TMP will have to set up the offense. Under five minutes to go in this opening quarter. TMP leads 7-5. to five. Hamel's got it on the right side. Working the pick and roll, she'll go away from the screen. Lane will pop out here to the right side. One dribble, hand it right back to Hamel. Hamel, a couple left-handed dribbles, left side for Yost, and now to Baltazar. Sophia has a three here in this opening quarter for TMP. Lane's got, or rather, Hamel's got it left side. Here's Allen with it. Now right side, and we're going to get a travel called on TMP, Sophia Baltazar. First turnover here in the first quarter. TMP will give it back as Lakesy Jacobson, the 5'7 freshman, will check in for the first time for Southeast of Saline. They also bring Reagan Getz, the 5'9 sophomore, in for the first time as well. Trojans in their home white shooting down to our left. 
Schlazer drives inside, got all the way inside the lane, missed the shot, and then we're going to get a tie up on the rebound, and the arrow will belong to TMP. Schlazer got free but could not finish inside, and Emily Lane will come away with the tie up, and the alternate possession gives it to TMP. 4.15 to go here in this first quarter. Monarchs trailing by two at 7 to 5. Got a lane field goal and a Sophia Baltazar three. Now Emily on the dribble drive, picks up her dribble, kicks it left side. Here's a three-pointer that'll skip off for Kylie Allen, and it's poked out of bounds by Lane, and it will belong to the Trojans. Lane had got a pretty good dribble drive, but kicked it out, and Allen could not convert. Monarchs had a real balanced attack yesterday. Kylie had eight. At three and double figures. Here's a near turnover. Now ball's on the floor. Baltazar will dive to save it for TMP. And then reaching in and committing the tie-up is going to be Reagan Getz. Baltazar nearly stole it, but the alternate possession keeps it with the Trojans. Sophia on the deflection was on the deck, but really had no help. Got a Copeless will check in once again for Southeast Salinas. So they'll play it to Reagan Getz. Gets guarded by Hamel, trying to direct traffic. Needs some help. Now she'll drive to the left side for Carson Schlesner and a legal screen on the little dribble drive handoff. That's a break for TMP. Schlesner knocked down the three. Gets called for the illegal screen. The 5'9 sophomore picks up her first. Tried that little dribble drive or that little dribble screen handoff, but moved. TMP will get it back following the first Southeast to Celine turnover. TMP with three and a half to go in this first quarter. Trails by two at seven to five. Baltazar off a screen, finds Hamel. Megan will drive down on the left side, leave it for Lane, and she scores, and we're tied at seven. Megan Hamel talked about it, averages more than six assists per game. That was a pretty one as she left it for Emily Lane, who's got four here in this first quarter. TMP ties it at seven. Jacobson will drive. Now gives it off to Getz, right side Schlazer. She'll go from the right to the left side. Got a Coppolis for three. This one too long off the iron and laying down with her third rebound of the early going. That was just too long and good check out inside for TMP. With under three minutes to go, first quarter, chance to take the lead. Ball on the right side with Baltazar. Here's Yost. She'll swing it left side for Allen. Allen surveys the defense, waiting for Baltazar to pop to the top of the key. Now she'll go right side. On it is Yost here on the wing. Left-handed dribble. Now for Hamel. Hamel will swing it far side on that left wing. So they get it to Baltazar, and now Allen's got it. Allen over the top. Here's Hamel with it. Monarchs find a cut and cast it to Yost. Yost got the defender off her off balance, and now we're going to get a foul on a rebound as she missed the shot inside. But Lane got undercut on that rebound. Be on Carson Schlesner. It's the first on Schlesner, the 5'7 junior. Maddie Harris, the freshman, second leading scorer for the Trojans, returns to the contest. They still have too many players out on the floor. They'll also bring Pearson out. As back into the contest came Castleman as well. TMP tried to lob it over the top. Hamel got, or rather Lane got tangled up, but was able to get it back. Now she'll drive inside with some contact, and she's headed to the free throw line, and she's fouled on the shot. Oh, they're going to call an offensive foul. Call an offensive foul on Emily Lane. And the TMP pinch to our left side, kind of basically like all the rest of the fans here in dark blue. Looked like Lane had a defender draped all over her. So it'll be an offensive foul on a TMP turnover. It's the first foul on Lane. That's a tough break to take as she had a defender all over her. Other side, got a, uh, rather it's Schlazer who misses, but inside it's Le Lexi Jacobson who will follow it home. And now it's a 9-7 Lead for Southeast to Celine as they get that offensive rebound for Lexi Jacobson and score. So an offensive foul called on TMP's Emily Lane goes the other way, and then the offensive rebound for Jacobson allows Southeast to Celine to lead 9-7. Baltazar driving here into the lane, got bumped off her position, no call. She'll give it up to Hamel. Now Hamel will drive right side. Back to Baltazar, went right back to Hamel, and it's through her hands, and then saved by Southeast to Celine. They nearly threw it away as Jacobson had to track it down following the third TMP turnover right in front of the Monarchs. As the Monarchs nearly had that basketball back. Here's a baseline three that'll skip off left side for the freshman, Maddie Harris. Backside rebound pulled down by Kylie Allen for TMP. It's her first. 1.15 to play first quarter. Monarchs trail 9-7. An offensive rebound a moment ago. The difference so far as Hamel has it right side, surveys the defense. Yos was trying to get open. Schlesner was all over her. Air to the right side. Baltazar with it. Has Yana Copeless right in her hip pocket. 
Baltazar will spin, lost it, got it back. Now she's wide open. She'll take the jumper and knock it down from 12. Game tied at nine on the Sophia Baltazar jumper. Sophia has five here in the first quarter. And now Southeast to Celine's Schlazer tying her shoe. And the official apparently told her she could tie her shoe, but nobody knew because they weren't throwing it in. And then the official does stop and let her tie her shoe. So Schlazer will bring it into the front court on a bounce pass to the right side for Avery Castleman. Castleman drives, kicks it for the freshman, Harris. Harris, right side cut off by Lane. She'll spin into the lane and knock down the jumper. 11-9 on a good jumper by Maddie Harris. The freshman gets her first field goal. She averages just shy of eight points per contest and right on that one home. 11-9, TMP trailing. Here's a, a jumper from straight on. Sophia Baltazar with her second first quarter three. Baltazar now with eight here in the first half. And then this first quarter, and TMP leads 12 to 11. Baltazar's got the last five for TMP and two first quarter threes. Schlesner, out by Allen, will drive inside, kick it for Harris. Harris, left wing, Castleman for three to beat the buzzer. No good, and TMP will take a 12-11 lead to the first quarter break on the Monarch Sports Network. It's powered by Hermit Physical Therapy. Next Tech. Get a great deal on internet, video, voice, and business services from the technology experts. Next Tech. Midwest Energy, a customer-owned cooperative providing safe, reliable, and efficient energy services and promoting growth throughout the region. Gibbs Auto Supply, over 200,000 parts and accessories and great staff to take care of you in Hayes and La Crosse. Steel Fabrications, when you need something fixed and you need it done fast and need it done right, call Steel Fab. Heartland Building. When it's time to get the job done, see why so many builders rely on Heartland Building Center with a huge stock of building materials. Hayes K. Lung, Kirk Maska, and Kurt Viner. State Glass Company, locally owned and operated since 1948. Fifth and Main, downtown Hayes. Thomas Moore Prep Marion, building communities of faith, knowledge, and service. Jeter Law Firm, proud to support student athletes, partners you can rely on. Jeter Law Firm. TMP Sophia Baltazar scores eight first quarter points, and the Monarchs take a one point lead into the second quarter break at 12 to 11. So we welcome you back in to Southeast of Saline High School. Monarchs is shooting down to our right, leading 12 to 11 here in this first quarter. They'll have the basketball to start out the second quarter. Sophia's got it on that left side, guarded tightly by Castle, way out beyond the three point line now. Works Baltazar. She'll pick up her dribble and play it left side for Megan Hamel. Amol drives left side, cut off as she picked up her dribble. With 7.40 and counting here in this first half. Baltazar will take it back in between the circles, play it to the left elbow for Lane. As she'll hand it to Baltazar, now brought right back to Emily. And then she goes back to Baltazar on that left side. Here's a pass over the top for Hamel, posting up his Yost. Cassidy, one dribble, puts up the little hook shot. It's off the mark. Lane tried to keep it alive, but it's tipped into the hands of Avery Castleman. And back to southeast to Celine. Schlazer working against Allen will come into the front court. Play it off to the left side for Pearson. Pearson works on lane, kicks it right side for Yanakopoulos. Yanakopoulos into the circles. Bobble to dribble, got it back and then banked it home from the free throw line. The lady Yanakopoulos makes it 13 to 12 as she banked in the jumper. She has four here in this opening half of action. And just like that, it's a one point lead again for Southeast to Celine. Here's a jumper from the left elbow for Kylie Allen that's off the mark. Rebound underneath the Schlesner. Outlet up the floor, Harris. Harris finds Yadakopoulos, can't shoot it. Left side driving in with some contact at a late whistle. We're going to get a blocking foul on TMP. And two free throws coming up for, I believe it'll be on Yadakopoulos. That foul is on Sophia Baltazar. It's the first for TMP. And free throws for Yanakopoulos. And the first one is good. Yanakopoulos with three straights for the Trojans. And they lead by two at 14 to 12. She's a 64% free throw shooter. Yanakopoulos second free throw good. Yanakopoulos was six here in the first half and it's 15 to 12 in favor of the Trojans. Emily Lane will bring it up the floor for TMP. Stop, play it right side for Hamel, then back to Emily. 
As they work here on this right wing. Lane will put it on the floor, drive to the left elbow. It's a little backdoor pass for Hamel. Caught in among traffic, kicks it right side. Baltazar had to track it down in front of the southeast to Selene Bitch. Now they dump it inside for Yost, bobbled it. PMP gets it to Lane, and now she dumped it for Kylie Allen, who saves it on the deck. Allen finds Yost, or rather Lane finds Yost inside. She can't finish. Lane tried to keep it alive, and it's out of bounds off of southeast to Selene. It's a pretty offensive possession for TMP, but they still didn't get a shot inside. But unfortunately, could not finish. Had a couple of good looks, decided to pass it instead of shooting it. Here's a lob over the top for Lane, and it's short. She left the dumper short, and they'll just say that she short-armed it. Thought it was deflected, but they'll say no, and back the other way we go. Just a straight air ball, apparently, for... Lane and with six minutes to go in this first half, TMP trailing by three at 15 to 12. Southeast to Celine with Schlazer. She'll take the 15 footer on a crossover, missed it. Kylie Allen down with her second rebound. Allen across the timeline as she'll race into the front court, play it left side for Baltazar. Sophia got a good start to the ball game. We've really tracked her down in the second quarter. Here's a pass right side for Hamel. And the sky to get it. Now gets it back to Lane as he'll swing it left side. Baltazar cutting across the lane as Yost decided not to shoot it. Instead, kicks it out. Baltazar's three will skip off. Lane tipped it into the hands of Yost, who will go up and score it. Emily Lane with the offensive rebound kept that alive for TMP. And Cassidy Yost gets her first field goal of the contest. And it's 15 to 14. It's TMP back within one on the Cassidy Yost field goal. Again, that's all because Lane was able to tip that ball on the offensive glass. Left side got a Copeless. She'll drive, cut off, able to kick it out for Avery Castleman. As they work this left side, now back to got a Copeless. Nearly traveled with it. Out to the freshman Harris. Guarded by Baltazar. Little backdoor pass for Schlaser. Goes in. Can't score it. Rebound inside for Southeast to Celine. And Ma uh, Mallory Pearson will follow it home. So Pearson gets the offensive rebound, and it's 17 14. And now we get a, a foul coming up the floor on Southeast to Celine as Baltazar and company working to the left side of the floor. And Avery Castleman, the sophomore, will pick up her first. 17-14, Southeast to Celine leads by three. 4.45 to go here in the opening half. TMP needs to hurry to get it in on that left sideline as they find Baltazar on the left baseline. Over the top for Hamel. Hamel will have to track it down. Out near the timeline for TMP at midcourt. 4.35 to go. Here's a long pass right side for Allen. Now to Yost, lobs it inside for Lane. Tough catch for Emily with somebody on her back. Missed the shot, got her own rebound, and she's fouled on the putback. Now he had fronted Lane. Yost threw it over the top. Emily couldn't quite finish inside, but another offensive rebound for Emily Lane. She has five rebounds already here in the first half. And a set of the line for the first time. First free throw for Lane is good. 17-15. So Lane will get that first free throw. Emily with five here in the first half, a 76% foul shooter. Takes the second one and will rattle that one home as well. Six in the game for Emily Lane. TFP back within one at 17-16. Left side, Schlesner drives in with the left hand and scores it. She got everybody down the left side of the lane, 19-16. It's Carson Schlesner. TMP gets it into the front court. Schlesner, by the way, now a seven in the contest. She was able to get down the floor and score it. Allen surveys the defense. Now Jacobson will come and draw her attention, and we're going to get a turnover on Allen. Looked like maybe she got tied up and had it knocked away, but instead they'll say it'll be an Allen turnover. Tried to drive onto that right side, but officials let him play through the contact, and it'll be a TMP turnover. Three fifty-two to go here in this opening half. In for the first time is Patacek. She loses it on the drive as Brielle Patacek loses it. Into the lane as Emily Lane will take it away for TMP. Monarchs down three in 1916. Again, Lane posting up on the left side. All sorts of contact. No call. They let him play through it. And missing two shots inside and take it away is southeast to Celine. Lane got mugged inside and the official said she went straight up. Schleisner will drive, cut off in the circle. It's a jumper by Jacobson that's short. Good checkout by Kylie Allen. That was a heck of a blockout. 
and allows TMP to come away with the basketball. As Allen gets her third first half rebound. There's Herman. Jessica trying to post up inside. Got free. Didn't realize it. Kicks it out for a Baltimore three. That's good. Sophia with her third here in the first half. She has 11. And we get a Southeast Saline timeout. The Monarchs have tied it at 19 on the Sophia Baltazor three. It's her third here in the first half. So we get a timeout taken up by the Trojans. So the Monarchs have knotted this thing up at 19. They had closed within one three different times, but could never get over the hump until that three by Baltazor. Real quickly, uh, we uh, owe you a break. We're atop the uh, 2 o'clock hour, so let's pause for station identification here on the Monarch Sports Network. You're listening to TMP Basketball. Monarch Athletics, as always, brought to you in part by Next Tech Wireless, Midwest Energy, Gibzato Supply, Steel Fabrications, and Heartland Building Center. Just under three minutes to play here in this opening half of basketball. 2.58 to play in the quarter. DMP Sophia Baltazar with her third three of the first half. She is already 11 for her ninth double-figure scoring game of the season. Able to tie this thing up at 19. She has 11. Emily Lane's the only other. And you know, Castle Yost has a field goal. Her and Emily have combined for eight points. Inside is Yana Koher with their Schleisner who falls away on a jumper. It's knocked out of bounds. Last touch by TMP. Schleisner was open underneath, but missed that layup badly. And the ball out of bounds to TM, or rather off of TMP. Baltazar is going to check out. Hannah Garcia will check in for the first time. The 5 4 sophomore. Keying it in is Harris. She'll go over the top for Yana Copolis. And now to Getz. Getz finds Harris. The uh, free throw line jumper is good. Maddie Harris makes it a 21-19 lead for Southeast Saline. That's the second time she's got to the elbow free throw line area and buried that jumper. Cassidy Yost with the right side for TMP. Here's Emily Lane, left side. Hamels open, Megan for three. That is off the mark, no good. Herman down with a rebound. Jessica can't score it inside, and it's taken away by Getz. Herman trying to reach in and come away with the basketball. Had a pretty good look at it inside, just couldn't have finished. Here's Yana Coppolis, goes all the way to the bucket and scores. Timeout taken by TMP. Eight for Yana Coppolis. 23-19. Back on top by four as Southeast to Saline as TMP lost, uh, lost sight of Yana Copeless, the junior, and she was able to go in and score. Elena Yana Copeless averages five a game. She has eight already here in the first half. Monarchs Athletics brought to you apart by Discount Siding, Shelter Insurance Agent, Us and Shoemaker, Field Abstract and Title Company, and High Plains Roofing. Of course, for TMP. No J.C. Von Linnell after she hurt that ankle in pregame warm-ups yesterday. Already with Hannah Garcia and Jessica Herman out there with Yost, Lane, and Hamel. And Hamel's banged up as well. Hamel injured that right thumb. Has it taped up heavily, and she's dealing with a lot of pain. Of course, Kylie Allen has been dealing with pain all year long with that inj knee injury and that ankle injury. Garcia with it left side. Hannah will find Lane. Right side. Yost was open. Decided not to shoot it. They dump it inside for Herman. There's a double team. She'll leave it for Lane. Lane had it poked away in the lane. Taken away by, it looked like Pearson was the one who got a piece of that. It's the fifth TMP turnover. Up the floor. Schleisner will spin on Yost. Kick it left side. Harris will take the three and left it short. And a good rebound inside by Hannah Garcia for TMP. So Monarchs. Look to run up that left sideline. Herman, a little hesitation, had it knocked away and out of bounds. Last touched by Pearson, and it will stay with the Lady Monarchs. As TMP will sub Garcia and Herman out of the contest as Allen and Baltazar return. With 1.23 to go here in this first half, TMP trails by four, 23-19. Hamel, that left sideline will key it in for Allen. Finds Baltazor. They lob it inside for Lane. Had it deflected away and off the underneath side of the basket and out of bounds. Yana Coplas was the last one to touch it. With 117 to play in the first half, TMP again looking to key it in. As Hamel fakes lobbing it over the top. And now she'll just throw it over the top. And Lane will have to track it down right near the timeline. With Baltazor, similarly straddled that 
half court line, able to track it down. Left side for Hamel. Hamel waits on a pick from Yost. She'll go away from it. Left side runner. Tried to bank it home, and it comes up short. Rebound down to Jacobson. Southeast Sicilian looks to run up the floor. Jacobson got away with the travel in the lane and scores it. Jacobson banked it home. She got away with the travel. She has four. And this is the largest lead of the contest at 25-19 for Southeast DeSaline with under a minute to go here in this first half. TMP with Hamel, hands up for Baltazor. Sophia out near the SES logo at midcourt here at Southeast DeSaline. Ghost pass right side for Baltazor, used up her dribble. Hamel's open straight on three that is off to the left side and the rebound cleared out of there by Jacobson. TMP struggling a little bit here down the stretch in this Second quarter, down six at 25-19. Schleisner, looks like she gonna set up a play here and double dribbled with it. She was gonna pass it off to the left side and Yada Coplis cut away from her. That's a break for TMP. It's just the third Southeast to Celine turnover. So Monarchs will get it back with 11 seconds to go here in this first half. TMP gets it to Hamel in the backcourt. Megan will cross the midcourt line with seven. They go to the high post for Lane. Turns, kicks it left side for Allen. Takes a peek at the clock with two. Baltazar has a shot blocked by Harris, and that's how this first half will come to an end. TMP trails by six as we head to the break at 25-19. Monarchs and the Trojans were tied at nine, but the final six of the first half scored for the Trojans. TMP trails here at the break, 25-19 on the Monarch Sports Network. It's powered by Herman Physical Therapy. Next Tech, get a great deal on internet, video, voice, and business services from the technology experts. Next Tech, Midwest Energy, a customer-owned cooperative providing safe, reliable, and efficient energy services and promoting growth throughout the region. Gibbs Auto Supply, over 200,000 parts and accessories and great staff to take care of you in Hayes and La Crosse. Steel Fabrications, when you need something fixed and you need it done fast and need it done right, call Steel Fab. Heartland Building, when it's time to get the job done, see why so many builders rely on Heartland Building Center with a huge stock of building materials. Hayes K. Lawn, Kirk Maska and Kurt Viner. State Glass Company, locally owned and operated since 1948. Fifth and Main, downtown Hayes. Contact Shelter Insurance Agent Dustin Shoemaker in Northridge Plaza, Hayes. High Plains Roofing, Western and Central Kansas's premier roofing contractor, the professionals, High Plains Roofing of Hayes. Discount siding, new siding, energy efficient windows and doors, vinyl fencing, and other exterior home products. Improve the beauty and energy efficiency of your home. Click on discountsiding.net. Edward Jones, providing a reasoned and disciplined approach to investing, making sense of investing. Paul Wurtenberger Construction, building Northwest Kansas's dreams since 1983. Master Cleaners, dry cleaning, laundry, alterations, tux rentals, and much more. They have numerous pickup locations throughout Western Kansas to serve you. Field Abstract and Title, take pride in your athletic, academic, and artistic achievements. Adams, Brown, Barron, and Ball, your trusted advisors providing you with commitment, experience, and integrity. Hertz Rent-A-Car, bigger vehicle for a family trip or a car that gets excellent gas mileage for the next business trip? Book with Hertz Rent-A-Car on 8th Street in Hayes. Roofmasters Roofing and Sheet Metal and RM Custom Metals. When it hails, when it pours, one thing's for sure, Roofmasters is who you're looking for. At halftime, Southeast Sicilian leads the TMP Lady Monarchs by six at 25 to 19. Game would start with the Trojans leading by four at seven to three. Monarchs would get back to back Emily Lane buckets to tie the game at seven. And then we were tied again at nine. Southeast Sicilian would lead 11 to nine when Sophia Baltazar hit her first. Uh, making her second of three first half threes to give TMP a 12-11 lead. Southeast DeSaline would open the second quarter on a 6-2 run, lead by three at 17-14. TMP answered back with a uh, couple of Emily Lane field goal, or free throws rather, and then Sophia Baltazar as TMP was down by three at 19-16, would hit her third first half three, tying the game at 19. But then the uh, Trojans would get the final three field goals of the uh, first half there and end up leading here by six at 25 19 at the break they outscored tmp 14 to 7 
there in that second quarter as TMP had a 12 to 11 first quarter lead. TMP trails by six, 25-19. Monarchs trying to keep pace in the race for a, a top seed potentially in the Norton 3A substate and also trying to extend their win streak to six games in a row. But so far, Southeast Saline looks like they're and they start trying to extend their lead uh, to or their uh, their win streak to eight games in a row. It's been a good one here so far. TMP trails by six at 25-19 to here at the break. Our halftime show brought to you by Eagle Radio's Digital Marketing. Let's take a timeout. We'll come back and get you a look at the uh, individual scoring and team numbers here at halftime on the Monarch Sports Network. It's powered by Herman Physical Therapy. Next tech. Get a great deal on internet, video, voice, and business services from the technology experts. Next Tech. Midwest Energy, a customer-owned cooperative providing safe, reliable, and efficient energy services and promoting growth throughout the region. Gibbs Auto Supply, over 200,000 parts and accessories and great staff to take care of you in Hayes and La Crosse. Steel Fabrications, when you need something fixed and you need it done fast and need it done right, call Steel Fab. Heartland Building. When it's time to get the job done, see why so many builders rely on Heartland Building Center with a huge stock of building materials. Hayes K. Long, Kirk Maska, and Kurt Viner. State Glass Company, locally owned and operated since 1948. Fifth and Main, downtown Hayes. Thomas Moore Prep Marion, building communities of faith, knowledge, and service. Jeter Law Firm, proud to support student athletes, partners you can rely on. Jeter Law Firm. Twenty-five nineteen at halftime. The uh, Trojans from Southeast of Saline have the six-point lead over the TMP Lady Monarchs. Our halftime show brought to you by HayesPost.com and also our Eagle Radio Digital Marketing Team you can uh, check those uh, check them out if your uh, business is ready to advertise on Facebook, Google, and all the other popular places online, but you just don't know where to start. Give Eagle Radio a call at 301-2211. Here at halftime, TMP trails by six. Good first half for Sophia Baltazar. Knocked down three threes. She has 11 to lead the uh, TMP Lady Monarchs. In fact, she leads all scores with 11. Monarchs in that first half get six from Emily Lane. And Cassidy Yost with two. That's all the scoring in the first half for a TMP. Hannah Garcia along with Megan Hamel. Jessica Herman, Kylie Allen play, but do not score. For Southeast to Celine, led in the first half by... Uh, Lady got a Coppola. She had eight. Carson Schlesner with seven. Four for Maddie Harris and Lexi Jacobson off the bench with four as well. Castleman gets uh, Pearson, by the way, with two. So it's Castleman gets along with Patacek all play but do not score for the Trojans here at the break. Time for us now to take a look at the first half team numbers. TMP ends up making seven of 21 field goal attempts. They're in that first half for 33%. Monarchs make three of eight from uh, deep. All three of those from Sophia Baltazar for 38% from TMP. And Emily Lane made the only two free throws for TMP that they attempted in that first half. Meanwhile, Southeast to Celine makes eight, 11 of 23 field goal attempts. They're in that first half for 48%. They just go one of five, though, from deep for 20%. They also made both of their free throw attempts, those two from Elena Yanakopoulos. Here at the break, it is a six-point lead for Southeast of Saline, 25-19. Monarchs end up turning it over five times in the first half, just three Southeast of Saline turnovers here at the break. TMP again trails by six. Uh, one other, uh, real quickly, Emily Lane with a uh, team-high six rebounds in that first half to lead the way for TMP. Get to the break. Monarchs trail by 6, 25-19 on the Monarch Sports Network. It's powered by Herman Physical Therapy. Contact Shelter Insurance Agent Dustin Shoemaker in Northridge Plaza, Hayes. High Plains Roofing, Western and Central Kansas's premier roofing contractor, the professionals, High Plains Roofing of Hayes. Discount siding, new siding, energy efficient windows and doors, vinyl fencing, and other exterior home products. Improve the beauty and energy efficiency of your home. Click on discountsiding.net. Edward Jones, providing a reasoned and disciplined approach to investing, making sense of investing. 
Paul Wurtenberger Construction, building Northwest Kansas's dreams since 1983. Master Cleaners, Dry Cleaning, Laundry, Alterations, Tux Rentals, and much more. They have numerous pickup locations throughout Western Kansas to serve you. Field Abstract and Title, take pride in your athletic, academic, and artistic achievements. At halftime, the Southeast of Saline Lady Trojans lead the TMP Lady Monarchs by six at 25-19 as we welcome you back into Southeast of Saline High School. Of course, the Monarchs and company coming off of wins over Norton last night. TMP on the girls' side and on the boys' side, both nine and one in the MCL. Not a lot of games on the schedule today. Later today, out of the Mid-Continent League, Phillipsburg will travel to Concordia. They're making up a game that was weathered out earlier this year. Other games of note across the area, Osborne, a former MCL member, they travel to Sylvan Lucas. Goodland and Huguenin meet at 6 o'clock this evening. Of course, Goodland Cowgirls trying to secure a top seed in the 3A substate there in Norton later this year. Natoma also in action, just an area team as well. So not a lot on the schedule. It's Yana, or rather, it's a uh, Schlesner drive on the first possession of the second half for Southeast to Celine, but she shot it off the underneath side of the rim, and the rebound taken away by TMP's Emily Lane. By my count, she has seven rebounds already in the contest. Monarchs missed her trying to post up on the blow block. Instead, they'll swing it to the left side, and Schlesner holding on to her. Lane still gets a hand on a pass. It's knocked out of bounds. She was open on the right low block. They decided to swing it to the left side, and she had Slazner draped all over her. That'll be a TMP turnover. It's their sixth of the contest so far. Seven and a half to play here in this third quarter. 25-19 in favor of Southeast to Celine. Left side, Harris is trying to force it to Yana Copeless. Instead, here's a right side pass for Castleman's three. Halfway down and out, offensive rebound, Slazner, and she'll go in and score it. Nine for Carson Schlesner, 27-19 on the offensive rebound and the stick back for Southeast to Celine as they continue to extend their largest lead of the contest. TMP with Hamel right side. And again, every time Emily Lane tries to flash across the lane, she's got Schlesner draped all over her. Now she'll get a top of the key lane in between the circles. Right side for Kylie Allen. Allen finds a cutting Yost as Cassidy will go in with a little hook shot of it rimmed out and Lane knocked it out of bounds. He got another good look inside as Yost went with the hook shot and it's rimmed out of bounds, or it's rimmed out, and then the out of bounds off the deflection. As Slaithner will bring it up to the near sideline for Matty Harris. Harris splits the defense, kicks it left side. As Castleman won't shoot the three, but on the baseline, Schlesner will. This one off the mark. Yana Coppola's down with a rebound, missed the shot, and she's going to get fouled on her follow attempt. DMP has not rebounded the basketball great here in the last couple of minutes, allowing an offensive rebound. And Hamel will be called for the foul. Ziana Coplos will earn a couple of free throws here. She's already two of two at the line. It's a 64% free throw shooter coming in, and she buries this one. Ziana Coplos with nine. 28-19. They've scored nine in a row. Ziana Coplos' second free throw good as well. Ten for Ziana Coplos. Of course, it a double figures, and it's a 10-point lead at 29-19 in favor of Southeast to Celine. AMP right side, they missed Yost or uh, Lane again. Yost will get it in between the circles. Lane trying to post up. They'll go to the high post for Allen. She dumps it for Yost, goes it right back out for Kylie Allen, and it's thrown away. Tracked down by Harris on that left sideline as Harris will dribble through some, through some traffic following the seventh TMP turnover. Over the top for Schlesner, guarded by Hamel. Can't shoot it with six minutes to go here in this Third quarter, TMP trails 29-19. Left side, will go to Harris. Now to what Yanakopoulos. Yanakopoulos so swinging around right side for Matty Harris. Back to Castleman and Yanakopoulos as they are swinging it around the perimeter. Now here's a drive by Yanakopoulos falling down. She touched it, balls on the floor. Baltazar tried to take it for, away for TMP. Here's a deflection in the hands of Hamel. Hamel up the floor to Baltazar following turnover at number four. Here's a left side deep three that's no good for Baltazar and it's tracked down by Matty Harris. 
Altazor with a fast break three, had it skip off up the floor. Schneisner spins across, kicks it out. Here's Harris for a three. It's too strong off the heel. Rebound tipped into the hands of Castleman, and another chance for Southeast Sicily. TP has struggled to close out on the defense or on the uh, defensive glass, and we're going to get a travel. So a break there is Pearson called for the travel. It'll be the fifth Southeast Sicily turnover. Monarchs trailing by nine, 29-19, with 5.05 to go in the third quarter. Trying to overcome a stretch here in which they look like a team that played a double overtime game of last night in a hard-fought mid continental League matchup. Here's a handoff for Baltazar, not a Yost. She'll dump it inside lane. Tough catch for Emily, can't finish, got her own rebound. And we're going to get a foul before the shot. She had finished on the glass, but I think they're going to say that she was fouled with a hold before the shot. Will be on Mallory Pearson. It's a second on Pearson. Reagan gets the sophomore returns to the lineup for Southeast to Celine. DMP looking to key it in. Lane's being double teamed. Instead, they'll force her all the way out to the right side of the three-point line and pull it in. She'll give it up, then get it back. She's gonna put it on the deck, drive in with some contact. They say it's off of lane and she lost it out of bounds. Coach McFarland says that she got hit on the drive, and it sure looked like that that off arm for the defender hit Emily's arm on the shot, but they say that she was straight up. Four and a half to go here in the third quarter. A little hesitation for Getz. She'll drive in, kick it for Schlesner. She'll take a right side contested three. Missed it, fight for the rebound inside, taken away by Hamel. Outlet up the floor here to the near sideline. Baltazar, TMP doesn't have numbers, and so they'll reset. Left side for Hamel. Hamel rifles it in between the circles, right side for Lane. They find a cutting ball, uh, Yost right back to Baltazar. Sophia will drive in, dump it for Lane inside and scores. Tough shot inside for Emily Lane. Lane was seven in the game, 29-21. That's the first field goal here in the second half for TMP. It comes with a four-minute mark here in this uh, third quarter. And now Southeast to Selene on a deflection. We'll have to go back into the backcourt and tr track it down. They said it was deflected. EMP said it didn't look like it was deflected. It should have been over and back. Instead, they will say it's deflected, and now we're going to get a foul on Baltazar. Sophia called for reaching over the top on a trouble drive for Carson Schlesner. It'll be the second TMP or the second foul on Baltazar. This is the second TMP foul. 3.43 to go here in this third quarter. Schlesner will lob it over the top for Matty Harris. Harris takes it left side. Now to Schlesner. Schlesner back to Harris on that left side. Now she'll throw it over the top for Yana Copolis from the left wing to the right side. Yana Copolis passes through the hands of Schlesner, and it's a Southeast to Selene turnover. That was a sloppy possession for Southeast to Selene as they were throwing it fastballs all over the place. Three and a half to go here in the left, uh, in this uh, third quarter. TMP trails by eight, 29-21. Trailed by 10 before that bucket by Lane on that last offensive possession. High post they go, Yo, she'll just turn, dump it inside for Lane, who scores, and it's fouled as a chance at a three-point play. They're going to make Emily earn everything here this afternoon. She has nine in the contest, 29-23. She's got the last four for TMP. Yost set her up. They just turned and dumped it inside to her on the left low block. That foul is the first on Harris. And it rims off, no good. Rebound is then comes away by Southeast Celine. Lane nearly stole it, but wrestling it away from her was Jacobson. Now numbers up the floor for the Trojans. And a pass for Yana Coppola's through her hands. Lane nearly stole that pass after she missed the uh, re or missed the shot. But Yana Coppola's and company able to come away with it. Schlesner then driving wildly on the baseline has to save it. And tracks it down as Harris out near Midcourt or the yeah midcourt in that timeline out past the Trojan wrote no, uh, written on the floor here on this right side and now a travel call to the baseline on Getz. It's the seventh turnover for Southeast to Celine. Pearson will come back into the game. 29-23, CMP within six. And with the basketball, 2.35 to go here in this third quarter. Monarchs, top of the key, Baltazar, good closeout, but that leaves a wide open lane. Emily has it blocked inside, all sorts of contact as Allen can't save it. And the ball down to Southeast to Celine. Here they come with Harris, so she'll race up this near sideline. 
Over the top, they kick it for Getz. Schlesner's open. She'll take the three. Left it short. Rebound down to Yost. Yost left side for Hamel. As they look to run, Hamel in the midcourt. She'll give it to Allen all the way to the bucket. Kylie goes in and scores it. Good transition for TMP. Back within four at 29 at 25 as Kylie Allen gets her first field goal of the game. And it comes off a missed three free throw or a missed three pointer. That was a good fast break effort for TMP. As Hamel led the break thanks to the great outlet pass for TMP's Cassidy Yost following the rebound. Right side, driving is Harris. Harris's shot is short, contested by Lane. Yost the rebound. Cassidy will throw it up ahead. Tracked down by Baltazar on this left side. Over the top for Hamel. Hamel finds Lane. Emily is going to be fouled. Yost with two really good outlet passes that lead the break for TMP. Pearson will pick up the foul. That'll be her third. And the Monarchs are going to get a timeout. So Coach McFarland takes the timeout. Hannah Garcia will check in for TMP. Monarch Athletics brought to you a part of this one by State Glass Company, Thomas Moore Prep Marion, Jeff Darrell, and Linda Seibel and Edward Jones and Hayes and Paul Wardenberger Construction. Real quickly, we are across the uh, close to the bottom of the 2 o'clock hour. Let's pause for station identification here on the Monarch Sports Network. It's powered by Hermit Physical Therapy. Monarchs in those dark blues, shooting down to our left here in the second half. We'll have Baltazar, Allen, Yost, Lane, and uh, Hannah Garcia, the five on the floor. Garcia allows Megan Hamel to get a quick breather. It's Baltazar to key it in. Baltazar finds Yost, who has it knocked away. Getz was fighting through the personal space of Yost to knock that out of bounds, and it stays with TMP, Baltazar again to key it in. She'll just lob it over the top for Lane. Garcia will swing it on a pass right side. Baltazar now back over the top. Garcia was open. Hannah decided not to shoot it. Instead gives it to Baltazar, and they'll set up the offense. 125 to go in the third. Garcia with it. Left side. They're giving Hannah all sorts of space. See if Hannah decides to shoot it. Instead, they'll swing it right side for Lane, who scores, and it's fouled again in the inside. Lane worked from that left low block to the right side, drew the foul. 29-27, Monarchs putting together an 8-0 run. Emily Lane and a double figures again. She has 11. That's her 12th double figure scoring game of the year. And she buries the free throw. 12 for Emily. TMP now within one at 29-28 on a three-point play for Emily Lane. So good start here following that timeout for TMP. Schlesner has it, guarded by Garcia. They'll kick it to the right side against this TMP zone. Now in the middle, here's a shot that may have been blocked as Castleman was open. Rebound cleared out of there for TMP, and here come the Monarchs. Garcia with it right side. Hannah works on the pick and roll with Lane. She'll go to the left wing for Baltazar. Now back to Garcia's. Hannah will foul out the play. 45 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Lane with it. Right side, Garcia. Hannah's all the way, all the way open. They aren't even guarding Hannah. If she would look to take a shot, she's got a chance to knock down an open three. Yost, right side for Kylie Allen. Now Garcia will flash to the top of the key in between the circles. And left side with 26 seconds to play here in the third. TMP trails by one, 29-28. Garcia now as Castleman really pressures her out beyond the three-point line. Baltazar with it. Sophia will in between the circles. Now a 13. We'll find Emily Lane with it with 10. Lane for Yost. Right side. They get it from inside Allen to Lane, and then Emily is going to reach in and foul Pearson. She was falling down. So Lane will pick up the foul. Well, they may have called that on Cap. It'll be a TMP turnover. It'll be their eighth with four and a half seconds to go here in this third quarter. Got a Copolis from half court, comes up short. Allen down with the rebound. It was the first foul on Lane. It just took him a while. As we head to the fourth quarter, TMP finds themselves down one, 29-28 on the Monarch Sports Network. It's powered by Herman Physical Therapy. Next Tech, get a great deal on internet, video, voice, and business services from the technology experts. Next Tech, Midwest Energy, a customer-owned cooperative providing safe, reliable, and efficient energy services and promoting growth throughout the region. 
Gibbs Auto Supply, over 200,000 parts and accessories and great staff to take care of you in Hayes and La Crosse. Steel Fabrications, when you need something fixed and you need it done fast and need it done right, call Steel Fab. Heartland Building, when it's time to get the job done, see why so many builders rely on Heartland Building Center with a huge stock of building materials. Hayes K. Long, Kirk Maska and Kurt Viner. State Glass Company, locally owned and operated since 1948. Fifth and Main, downtown Hayes. Thomas Moore Prep Marion, building communities of faith, knowledge, and service. Jeter Law Firm, proud to support student athletes, partners you can rely on. Jeter Law Firm. Tim Pugh trailed by as many as 10 to start out the third quarter, but would outscore Southeast to Celine by nine at 9-0 over the final four minutes of that third quarter and cut it to within one now as they were down by 10 midway through that third quarter. TMP shooting down to our left with the basketball. Ghost was posting up, they missed her. Now to the top of the key, Allen forces it inside for Lane, who's fouled underneath before she finished inside. So they've called the contact against Emily a little bit more. They have been extremely physical. I think that'll be on Schlesner. It's her second. They've been extremely physical with Lane all game long. Schlesner and Yana Coppola is just holding on to her now. Here's a pass inside. Yost uh, layup rims off, and it's poked out of bounds by Lane. Cassidy was wide open, and that just would not fall. And it's back the other way. Had a wide open layup inside, but it just would not go down. With 7.40 and counting, third quarter, leading by one, Southeast to Selene with the basketball. Got a Copeless with it, left side, she'll drive to the elbow, now kick it for Maddie Harris. Harris, right side, Schlesner, right back to Harris. With 7.25 and counting in the fourth quarter, is the runner by Harris that goes. 31-28, Maddie Harris, the freshman with six, that was over the top of Emily Lane, who was stretched out trying to block that shot. Monarchs, left side, Baltazar with it. To the high post they go for Yost. And now back to Baltazar in between the circles. Lane just trying to post up inside, but this is not being allowed to do anything. Here's Lay, or uh, rather Allen will dump it inside for Yost, has her shot blocked and taken away inside. Monarchs need somebody underneath to maybe relieve that pressure. He's got a Copeless off a screen, too strong. Great check out inside by Lane, and then she gets called for blocking the shot underneath. She couldn't quite come away with the deflection. Jacobson down with a rebound, and now Jacobson's going to earn a trip to the free throw line. It's a third on Lane. Comes with 6.42 to go here in the third quarter. It's a big foul as the free throw will rattle in. It's here in the fourth quarter. As Jessica Herman will check back in. 32-28, second free throw good as well. So Jacobson makes them both, and it's 33-28 to open up this fourth quarter. TMP gets a shot here for Baltazar, straight on from three, and she rattled it home, her fourth three of the game. Sophia with 14, 33-31 on the Sophia Baltazar three. She got that one to go for TMP. Maybe with 6.20 to go here in the quarter, maybe she can maybe loosen up that defense inside. Here's a missed three-pointer. Allen gets banged into as the defense fell down. Allen's able to get to Herman. Lane, and now they'll get it across the timeline with Megan Hamel. Hamel to the left side. TMP trails by two. Top of the key, Baltazar can't shoot it. Now it's Lane. She'll put it on the deck. Drive in on Yonakopoulos. Hit the little floater, and we're tied at 34. Similarly, Lane... Rattles home that jumper right side. Here's a uh, missed shot inside and rebound taken away as TMP up the break. It is 34-33. After that two-pointer inside just a moment ago for TMP. Had the score wrong for the Monarchs. TMP with Herman. 5.25 to go here in the fourth quarter. So now they change it back to 33 all. Inside, there's a little runner and uh, Lane's going to lose the basketball. Out of bounds, they say off of TMP and call a foul on Herman battling for the rebound. So TMP was down. Going to get a timeout taken by Southeast to Celine. 
We'll keep it right here. TP was down 29-28 to start this quarter. Southeast Saline would score the first four of the quarter to lead 33-28. Monarchs get a Sophia Baltazar three that cut the deficit to 33-31. And then that bucket just a moment ago by Emily Lane ties this ball game at 14. That foul, by the way, was the first on Kylie Allen. So it is tied at 33. They had the score wrong for a little bit after that three-pointer. Monarchs with that three by Baltazar. That was a huge three, her fourth of the game. So pulled him within two. 5-16 left here in this fourth quarter. Game tied at 33. Up the floor, Southeast to Selene with the basketball. Right side. There's a pass over the top as they go left side for Reagan Getz. Now in the lane, block shot by Lane, taken away by TMP. As Garcia came away with the loose ball for the Monarchs. And back the other way, chance to take the lead for TMP. They have not led since it was 12 to 11. Hamel dribbled on the left sideline in front of Coach McFarland and company. Now Baltazar will go get it. They'll set up the offense. Baltazar gives it back to Hamel with 440 counting here in this fourth quarter. Dribble to the left side. Hamel over the top. Here's Hannah Garcia. Hannah won't shoot it. Hannah goes into the lane, leaves it for Yost. Yost will slide in and lay it home. TMP leads 35-33 on a great pass from Garcia inside to Cassidy Yost. Yost now with four. And then we're going to get a foul on the other end as Jacobson was fouled by Cassidy Yost. 35-33. So Yost will pick up her first. The pass over the top as they get it into Getz. Getz drives into the lane, has her shot deflected by Yost. Ball deflected, tracked back down by Jacobson, and she'll get her fifth rebound of the contest. Now to Coppola's on a kickout jumper. It'll skip off Emily Lane with a defender draped all over her. Pulls down a huge rebound for TMP. By my count, that gives her 10 rebounds in the contest for Emily Lane. Left side, Baltazar's got it. Now to Megan Hamel with under four minutes to go here in this fourth quarter. Right side, Hannah Garcia. Lane will whip it for Hamel. Hamel finds Yost across the lane. She'll kick it out. Baltazar straight on three, left it short. And rebound cleared out of there by Getz. Pretty good look for TMP, but Baltazar didn't have the legs behind that one. Now to Coppola, into the front court, had it knocked away. Garcia sticking with it, and then Hannah is going to be called for a foul. Baltazar nearly stole it after a Hannah Garcia deflection, and Hannah was right there in the hip pocket of Yana Coppola's. She'll pick up the foul. Lane, as Garcia gets a round of applause. Lane with 15 to lead TMP. Right behind her with 14 to Sophia Baltazar. For the Lady Monarchs. As Yana Coppola's on the seventh team foul on TMP, will shoot it and miss the front of the end of the one and one Lane down with a rebound for TMP. That one too strong for Yana Coppola. She was 4 of 4 before that. And misses that one. TMP leads by two, 35-33 on the Yost field goal. Now they get it to Cassidy across the lane. She's going to turn, fire, too strong off the heel. Lane kept it alive into the hands of Yost again, and they'll reset up the offense. That's the second time that Lane has done that in a big spot where she's just deflected it and able to keep it alive for TMP. Right side, Hamel has it. He was trying to post up. Instead, it's Baltazar straight on. Sophia won't shoot it. With three minutes to go in the contest, TMP leading by two at 35-33. Yost with it. She'll swing it right side for Sophia. Baltazar inside. They go to Lane. Lane with the left-handed hook shot and missed the shot. And the rebound cleared out of there by Harris. Harris has four rebounds in the game. Over the top, Yannakopoulos with it. Right side on a pass from Schlesner. Schlesner's pass knocked away by Allen, but tracked back down by Jacobson. She'll kick it left side for Schlesner, who goes in and gets fouled and has a chance at a three-point play. 35 all, and Schlazer has a chance to break that 35 all tie. She scored inside. Schlazer has 11. She was a 70% free throw shooter as Hamel picks up her second personal foul. Schlazer has 11. Second free throw, or rather, the free throw is good, and it's 36 35. Schlazer now with 12. They have her and. Yadakopoulos each 
with 12 to lead the way for Southeast to Saline. TMP trails by one, 36-35, with two and a half to go here in this fourth quarter. Monarchs with Hamel directing traffic. Ball to Zork. In between the circles, straight on. We'll hand it back to Hamel. Hamel then used up her dribble. Needs some help. She'll kick it out for Baltazar with 2.15 to go here in the fourth quarter. Right wing for Kylie Allen. Allen finds a cutting lane as she popped to the top of the key. Hamel straight on. Megan will swing it right side for Kylie Allen. Allen one dribble and not a Yost. TMP with two minutes now to go here in this fourth quarter. They force it inside to Emily Lane who scores and has a chance for a three-point play as she was fouled underneath. TMP back on top, 37-36 as Emily Lane got free on this left side. Lane was 17 in the game. Yana Coppolis picks up her second. And Lane's free throw halfway down, and it's spun out. Rebound down to Harris, who has five in the game for Southeast to Celine. Harrison traveled with it up the floor. Turnover, Southeast to Celine. She lost it right in front of the scores table, then got it back and took the extra step. It's the eighth Trojan turnover with 1.52 to go here in the fourth quarter. TMP leads by one, 37-36. Hamel across the timeline. Coach Rose McFarland wants a timeout. TMP leads 37-36. Monarch Athletics brought to you in part by Master Cleaners, Roofmasters Roofing and Sheet Metal, Insurance Planning, Ellis County Abstract and Title, Jeter Law Firm, Adams Brown, and Progressive Physical Therapy. Monarchs trailed in that third quarter, 29-19, with four minutes to go in the quarter. Emily Lane would get a field goal. In fact, it was back-to-back -back buckets inside in which Emily was fouled. She couldn't convert on the three-point play, but she was able to get free inside. She would hit back-to-back -back field goals to pull TMP back within six, and that was part of that little 9-0 run in which they got within one at the end of three, 29-28. They would take the lead at 35-33 here in this fourth quarter, but two quick free throws back the other way for or rather a three-point play on the inside by Southeast to Saline's Carson Schlesner would put Southeast to Saline back on top by one at 36-35. But that bucket by Emily Lane a moment ago, she couldn't convert on the three-point play, but still, TMP leads by one, 37-36. Out of the timeout, Hamel will key it in straight down in front of us. Hamel to throw it in the backcourt for Baltazar with a minute 45 to go in this one. TMP on top by one, 37-36. Trying to pick up a third huge win down the stretch here. Working against a very good Southeast Saline team. They lob it inside lane. Tough catch as he scores again. 39-36 as Cassidy Yost dumped it inside. And Emily Lane now with 19 in the contest. Left side, Harris will drive, got inside, bangs in the lane, offensive foul, back the other way. Two huge plays for TMP's Emily Lane. That's a turnover for Southeast to Celine, their ninth of the game. Harris will pick up the foul, it's her second. TMP will key it in against the pressure now for Southeast to Celine. Following the turnover. With 1.15 to play here in the ballgame. TMP on top by three. Monarchs get it into Yost and now to Hamel. Hamel trying to run away from Yadakopoulos. Gets across the timeline, now picks up her dribble. Finds Lane and now to Baltazor. With one minute to go in the contest. Hamel with it. Now it's Lane. TMP leads by three, 39-36. Allen, left side for Hamel. Megan has it in her right hip pocket. Guarded tightly by Jacobson. Nearly lost it. Now right side. It's Yost and Lane. Lane trying to work away from Pearson. We'll just see when Coach Smith decides to foul. And then Hamo got poked in the eye. And free throws for TMP's Megan Hamo. The front end of a one-on-one -on -one coming up. Mentioned earlier in the broadcast, and we talked about it yesterday, that foul, by the way, is just the first on Jacobson. Megan's got that right wrist and thumb area taped, and she heard it again yesterday. It's been a rough go of it. It's the first one on the way. It's off the mark, and the rebound tracked down by Yana Yana with her third rebound. 
Off the floor she comes. Timeout shot of Smith and Southeast to Celine. She didn't want Yadakopoulos to set up the offense. Instead, with 33 seconds to go here in this fourth quarter, TMP leading 39 36. Southeast to Celine will get the timeout. So, see if they can set something up here late in this ballgame. TMP trailed 29 19 to start out this second half. Boy, to outscore Southeast to Celine 8 0. It was actually 9 0 over the next four minutes to pull within one. And here in the fourth quarter, I've outscored Southeast to Celine 11 to 7. To lead by three, 39-36. Monarchs were outscored 14-7 in the second quarter. But have outscored Southeast to Celine here ever since in this third and so far into the fourth quarters. TMP trying to get win number 16 on the year. From Monarch team that won 10 games a year ago with virtually the same six for the second half of the season. Playing the key minutes down the stretch. 33 seconds to go in this one. TMP leads by three, 39-36. Harris will key it into Schlesner. Schlesner right back to Matty Harris on the right side. Now Schlesner with it, guarded right by Allen. They'll play catch on the right side. They give it up. Harris. Finds Yannakopoulos, now to Schlesner. Left side, here's Yannakopoulos. She'll take the three, can't line drive it home. Ghost has the rebound knocked away on the deck, and it's going to be off of TMP and out of bounds. Baltasar and Harris got tangled up on the baseline, and unfortunately, Sophia was on the baseline side, and it was knocked out of bounds off of Sophia. 16 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. TMP leads by three, 39-36. Trying to get Schlazer open for three, and it's blocked by Lane on the right side. Emily swatted it, and then it looked like it was touched by Southeast to Celine, but it goes out of bounds into their bench, and we'll get a Southeast to Celine timeout. Lane had blocked that three, and it looked like it was off of Southeast to Celine, but instead it will stay with the Lady Trojans. After the first block shot of the game for Emily Lane, and she did that over a screener. She used all of that six foot plus wingspan to knock that one away. 8.7 seconds to go. 39 36. TMP leads by three. Monarchs try to pick up a third key win coming down the stretch here. They head into the regular season finale on Tuesday. Obviously, after a double overtime a gritty win yesterday, they have found their second win. You could tell right at the end of that first half that everybody had hit a wall. Halftime came at a great time, and they were able to find a way to fight through it. Now we've got to finish for the final 8.7 seconds to go in this one. Knew it would be a good one. Southeast to Selena, perfect 7-0 in the NCAA. Their losses are to really good teams, but none of them in the North Central Activities Association. Of course, Russell used to be a former member of the NCAA, now a member of the Mid-Continent League. 8.7 seconds to go in this one. Pearson will key it in in front of Coach Smith and company down to our right. Down three. They'll get it into Yannakopoulos, who was tied up for a moment by Harris. She'll take the long two after she got free. Hamel with it. Has it knocked away with one second left to go. Here's a shot that will miss. And TMP's going to rally from down 10 here in the second half to beat the Southeast of Saline Lady Trojans by the final of 39-36 as the Lady Monarchs will pick up win number 16 on the season and move to 16-3. and Southeast of Saline will fall to 12-6 as the Lady Monarchs hold off a fantastic Lady Trojan team. TMP again wins by the final in this one, 39-36. Monarchs get two into double figures Sophia Baltazar had a big game with 14, 19, though, to lead the way for Emily Lane. And by my count, she had 12 rebounds as well. And that one huge block, she'll finish with a double-double with 19 points for TMPs. Emily Lane, Monarchs pick up the victory 39-36. So they'll head into the regular season finale Tuesday at 16-3. Of course, 9-1 in the MCL trying to 
at least finish in a tie atop the Mid-Continent League. Maybe they can get some help being league champions this year. Again, TMP wins here in this non-league game over Southeast Sicily, 39-36. So the Monarch Sports Network is powered by Herman Physical Therapy.